Hello, everyone. This is Rick with the Cyber Pro Podcast. Five questions in nine minutes because hackers never sleep. Let's get to it. Chris, who are you and what do you do? Sure thing. So this is uh, Chris Jabera, CTO, co-founder of Athena Security. What we do right now, uh, we started a company in 2018 that does gun detection. Why? Because we saw the kids getting shot on TV. So we decided to build a product that could help them. Uh, and that conversed when COVID hit, we uh, hit a little breaker point. Obviously, no one was purchasing. Everyone was at home. Um, so we converted everything to temperature scanners. And then just recently, we got done our concealed weapons detection, which is what all of our customers wanted when we were talking to them. So now we just launched our concealed weapons detection, which finds weapons underneath your clothing and in your bag without having to stop. Fascinating. I'm sure I'll have plenty more questions. <laughs> let's, uh, let's jump into question number two, however. What do you love about being in the security space? What do I love about it? I love the fact that it's so wide and a lot of it's kind of like coming all coming together. You see physical and cyber kind of like joining one team now before it was two different teams. Um, so I think that's a positive thing going forward. Um, and just the vastness of, of the whole sector is awesome. I love security. I, I've been doing it since I was a little kid um, and it, it fascinates me. So, Which was like 18 years ago, right? That's it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 18 years ago, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Tell me what you think of when you hear cybersecurity is a top concern. What does that mean to you? Sure, it, it depends on who's saying it because uh, it has different implications depending on if you're coming from like a, a retail shop or a credit card company or a Fortune 500. So it just depends on the point of view. When it comes to the synthesis of cybersecurity and security, I mean, that's kind of where you guys are sitting right now. What are some of the, the really important things that make sense to connect? Sure. Well, I, I, really, I truly think that cyber and like physical security need to connect more. Um, why? Because they belong together, right? You can't have one without the other. If someone comes in your building, they're going to stick a USB in the wall, you know, and that's, you know, it's physical security, right? Um, and they, they, they need to like connect because there's no, no one's talking right now, which gets confusing for a lot of people. Um, so when you bring those two together, you have full control and you can actually implement proper procedures, uh, proper software, proper you know, hardware that can help battle all the different things you're going to come to in, in our organization. What insight do you want to share with our network of professionals? Sure. Um, you know, keeping your networks separated properly, um, you know, coming from, a, you know, I used to work at a, a energy company, you know, everything had to be separate, right? Um, if you get hacked and the electricity goes out, you know, you just lost electricity for a lot of people. That's not a good thing. So growing up with that kind of stuff, uh, you, know, you want to keep everything separate. Camera networks, you want to keep separate. Everything you can keep separate on their own network. So if they do get penetrated, they're stuck in that one spot and they can't fluctuate in other places. So you should do that with all your different um, organizations inside of an organization, I believe. Nice. If you do that, right? I mean, if you, if you gap those environments out, and, and really enclave those environments out. What do you think is a good way for the people that are owning those different tools and those different environments to really connect? In what way? What do you mean? The yeah, people so that are segregated? I, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, you've kind of seg segregated those, which is good. I agree. Absolutely agree. Like, let's protect and make sure that if one, if one of our devices or one of our, our, our networks gets, it gets breached, they can't bounce around and do whatever they want, right? But mm -hmm. With that being said, I mean, is it, it's not always the same team. It's not always the same group of people that are focused on each different network. Uh, sure. So it's more, how do, you, how do you promote better interdepartment, interteam functionality? Sure. Absolutely. So what you do is you have collaboration tools, right? That each sector, each network would be able to talk to. So you can still collaborate, but you're, 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 you're minimized on what you can do. Right, but then that gives you an avenue to collaborate in a secure way because you're minimizing all the different loopholes that could happen if you were just open, right? So if you segregate the networks, you, you provide the collaboration tools that they're allowed to go to and that's how people collaborate. Nice. Final question for you, fun question, Chris. What is your favorite piece of retro technology that makes you smile? Retro technology that makes me smile. <laughs> you know, what makes me smile is arcade games. You know, um, the old Nintendos. I love all the, all the games back then. So it's a lot of fun to play. Nice. Do you have a favorite arcade game that you can think of? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Zelda's one of my favorite. Nice. Nice. That's amazing. Chris, thank you for being on the podcast. Absolutely. Anytime, man. Thanks so much for having me on here. You did it. You made it to the end. 
check us out for future podcasts and more content.